Hi, ever wonder what tools or accessories you might need as a beginning wig wearer? Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have in my wig toolbox. Come on, join me. Hi, I'm Mimi with Mimi Wears Hair, and if Mimi can wear hair, you can wear hair too. Today I'm going to do a short little video about some of the tools and accessories that I have in my wig tool kit. So let's get right to it. Uh, I'm going to show you what I carry it in, and this is a bag that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics, oh, maybe six months or so ago. And it has a lot of pockets on the outside. Uh, I got it on a 40% off coupon or something, and so it was really only like $12. And it really serves the purpose that I need for storing everything that I have. Uh, for my wigs. So I'm going to go through a little bit, not maybe not everything, but uh, first and foremost, brushes, combs, that type of thing. I have several different styles uh, and some are for my bio hair and some are specifically for my wigs. I know you're not supposed to vigorously brush a wig but I do brush my wigs with this brush. It has very wide tooth um, spaces. It's very flexible and doesn't, it never gets stuck in a wig. It glides through nice and easy. And if I come upon a tangle that might be a little too difficult for the brush, um, that I don't want to stretch the fiber, I will switch to a comb, uh, but this is my go-to brush for my wigs, and it is called an Infinity Pro from Conair. I've had it forever, so it wasn't specifically purchased for my wigs, but I love this brush for my wigs. Okay, and then I have a regular brush I just use for my bio hair. I don't use that bio brush on my wigs uh, because you don't want to transfer your natural hair oils to the wig. That happens enough if you don't wear a wig cap. So you want to keep the wig um, clean and only use separate brushes. And the same thing goes with combs or other things that you might be using. This comb I use, now this is my teasing comb and I use this to pull out my bio hair from under my wig grip uh, on my bangs. As you can see up here, I have blended my bio hair and I've colored it a little bit with some uh, eyeshadow powder, eyebrow powder. And um, then I pull out my fringe on the sides using this. Now I will use this also to tease into both the wig and the bio hair to blend them together on the inside and up here. But that's the only time I won't brush my wigs with this comb. I don't use it for anything else other than pulling out my bio hair and teasing that hair in to blend it. Uh, I have a couple of those so I always have one handy. So as far as combs go, I have three different wide tooth combs that I use. This is more my travel comb, something to carry with in my purse so that I always have a wide tooth comb with me. I can use it during the day if I find a tangle at the back and it gets right in there and it's not bulky like these other two. Uh, this one I use to break up after I've washed a wig and it has dried, some of those clumps that get in there and get together. And then just my basic everyday really wide tooth comb to get through the, the wig. So those are the three different types of combs, all wide tooth uh, for my wigs. I have wig grips and I have several. Uh, I have them in several different 
colors and they're in the outside pockets of that tool kit. So I just keep those wrapped up depending on the color of the wig that I'm wearing for that day, depends on which particular wig grip I'm wearing. Today I have on the wig Lucy and I'm wearing a black wig grip with her. So Lucy is from Paula Young and she's in the Whisper Light uh, line and she is a 50, 51-60A with the um, 1B rooting. So um, this is Lucy. I also carry a couple of toothbrushes. This one goes in my purse and it is a collapsible foldable one. And I'll use these, depending, to color the Widow's Peak and then to maybe tease up in here uh, if I don't have my comb with me. Um, if it becomes undone or needs to be freshened up a little bit. So toothbrushes for coloring my widow's peak and blending in my hair. Next I have a couple of adhesive, different adhesives. I have the It Stays Body Adhesive. Now I have great issues with this. Um, I've only used it a couple of times. I don't they say that sometimes it has an issue with the gumming up on the top. I haven't noticed that because I don't use it often enough, but it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick to my head. Uh, maybe it's because I have hair there. I have a low nape, so um, it doesn't stay on the hair. And I think because the wigs that I wear have more of that velvet nape type material and the velvet kind of front on these basic wig caps that it does not adhere well so I this I bought this when I first started wearing wigs and I've only used about that much so it's not something I use every day or use on the regular because it really doesn't work for me uh, but I do have these uh, wig tapes um, Walker No Shine Tape Adhesive 3 inches contoured and these work pretty well. Again, um, that velvet on the wig cap doesn't really stick well to this. So by the end of the day, this is all kind of curled up and wrapped up into just a gummy mess. But um, sometimes, depending on where I'm going, I'll use them right up here in my uh, receding hairline area where I have no hair growing and cut them and use them there to secure the wig right here on my head so that it doesn't shift or move around. Sometimes I have some issues with my wig kind of creeping and I think that's due to the wig grip also slipping a little bit. But uh, other than that, that's the only adhesive I use. My wig grip is really my go-to to keep my wig secure on my head. A couple of other things I keep in my wig tool kit are these bags and inside I store uh, the claw clips that I use at the back for some of my longer wigs and I don't know where the other two are but I'll have to find them and then I have this uh, I've made several of these these are some crocheted uh, ha hair scarves that I use uh, when I'm working around the house, cleaning, that type of thing. Keeps my wig on out of my face, so I can uh, do that. This goes behind. Um, sometimes I'll take some of the hair and split it back there and then tuck this little piece under and um, that just helps to keep it out of my face. And then I have, this one has uh, all of my elastic hair bands for my bio hair that I might need, any clips that I have, and then I also have in here the eyeshadow eyebrow pencil uh, for coloring my widow's peak. So those are in these bags and they sit real nice right in the center pouch of the bag. And then we move on to kind of washing and uh, maintaining the wig itself. So 
shampoo I have this is wig shampoo from Paula Young um, it works fine I don't have any other experience with any other shampoos but I've also tried and used the Dawn on my wigs and both of them work just as well so I don't have any problems with Dawn bothering changing the consistency or uh, the feel of the fiber after I've used it and then I don't have a wig conditioner that I use regularly but I do use downy on my wigs and I let it soak not for a very long maybe 10-15 minutes and I'll use that and then I use on some of my wigs the armor all protector protectant so those only I use at the very back nape of the neck where it tends to get tangly on some of those longer wigs like Lucy, my Misty, uh, that type of thing. And I use that very sparingly and just kind of work that down the fibers. And then I have, uh, this is Brandywine Wig Spray, which is like hairspray for wigs. Uh, I just use this around face framing to keep the flyaways in here out of my face. And then I have, uh, whoops. So this is just a bottle uh, that I have distilled water in that I use on my wigs as a, fr a refresher. Um, I don't have a refreshing spray, but this helps to kind of tame some of the flyaways, just refresh some of those curls in the back, and helps me to work my fingers through and separate just distilled water. I also have this, which is some distilled water mixed with the downy fabric softener, and this I'll just spray sometimes after I've brushed through a wig that I might have just worn uh, and hang it up to dry on the wig stand just to give it a little bit of a f refreshing. So this would be my refreshing spray. And the one of the last things I have in here is this heated brush. Now I've only used this a couple of times it only has two settings, a low and a, and a high, I guess, or a medium and a high. I'll use this just at the back of the nape, just kind of brush it through once or twice to make sure that I get uh, those fibers a little bit straightened. I don't leave it on for any length of time. I let it warm up and then I just use it. So it isn't very hot as I'm brushing through that uh, that nape area to get that those fibers straightened so that is this is I found this at Goodwill and uh, it's a T3 whatever that means but it wasn't even used it had never been touched it still had the uh, cap covering for the outlet it didn't come in a box but there wasn't a piece of hair or dirt on it so um, I think this was a real find for the three bucks I paid for it and then I have one of those sleeping caps, kind of a hair bonnet. I have used it on my bio hair to sleep in, or um, I also use them to store my wigs in. So I will put my wig in the center on the inside and then just set this uh, along with its tissue paper and set this right back in the box. I hate those goofy hair nets that come with the wig. So I have quite a few of these that I use to store my wigs. Uh, then I have a regular tape measure for measuring my wigs. Uh, if I feel like there's something needs to be done to it, maybe um, taken in or taken out. And also for reiterating my own measurements on my head. So I have a little mirror. It has uh, magnification on one side and it's normal uh, viewing on the other and I just have that in there so I can get up close to coloring my 
widow's peak so I can see what I'm doing because I don't always have my glasses and it's difficult sometimes when I'm not wearing them to see what I'm doing so the last thing I have for you today is this little case that has these little curlers in them they're just soft covered pieces of wire with a little sponge in the middle. So I'll take these on, let's say like Lucy here that has some beachy waves at the back and I'll just roll it up after I've washed it and um, let it air dry a little bit, get some of that moisture out and then just twist it up and let that dry and remove them the next day and those curls and waves are revived and kind of refreshed back into the wig. So they don't use any heat or um, don't damage the wig in any way and it's just a great way that I've found to help to put some of that wave back into a wig. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.